Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, September 20th, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. So an interesting URL worked its way up in our first scene list. This is a list of uh, URLs that were detected by our honeypots, but uh, not seen before in this particular form. What it looks like is that uh, someone is looking for Adobe Experience Manager. This is a content management system. It had in the past numerous vulnerabilities that also have been exploited. Now, uh, this is uh, one of those big enterprise systems and it actually comes with well what it calls dispatcher which is a load balancer and also a web application firewall if you read on exploitation of uh, these adobe experience manager vulnerabilities they usually talk somewhat about how to bypass uh, this particular filter this uh, latest url that we have seen looks like a variation of an older vulnerability they're trying to find here nothing new and super current but they're trying to do a little bit a directory traversal style evasion, I believe. That's sort of the point really of these scans to get past some of these filters. If anybody is more familiar with Adobe Experience Manager, wouldn't mind any insight into what exact vulnerability they're trying to exploit here. And if this is, if this is something that would actually work. Uh, sometimes, of course, attackers are trying these things and uh, the attack themselves may not necessarily have any effect. Regardless, if you're using Adobe Experience Manager, double check that you're up to date. We don't see a lot of attacks against Adobe Experience Manager, but in particular, the last couple of months, we sort of have seen a little uptick in scans for this particular product. And Trend Micro published an update for its Apex One and Very Free Business Security product. This update fixes uh, arbitrary code execution vulnerability CVE 2023-41179 that apparently is already being exploited in the wild. Trend Micro itself gives it a CVSS score of 9.1. The CVE number is 2023-41179, but also states that the attacker already needs to have some access to the system. So I would rate this a little bit more as a privilege escalation vulnerability. Needless to say, it's already being exploited. So something that you uh, do want to patch uh, quickly. The vulnerability actually resides in a third-party uninstall mod that's being installed with the product and that's being patched here with the update. And Trend Micro also published a nice write-up about a new backdoor that they found on Linux systems. And they're attributing it to what they're calling Earth Luska, a threat actor that's sort of associated with the Chinese government apparently. This backdoor does uh, take some of the command language and command control uh, channel style from earlier Windows uh, backdoors that were also attributed to the same threat actor, but have been around for a year. Source code to these Windows versions has been leaked. So uh, could also be someone else uh, picking up on that and uh, use implementing some of that code for uh, Linux. Overall, it's your standard backdoor. It implements uh, SOX proxies, allows arbitrary code execution on the host, and it has sort of a bunch of uh, tools to essentially facilitate then lateral movement uh, with other tools. Apparently, uh, the uh, Cobalt Strike is also being used then for lateral movement together with this particular uh, backdoor. Some good indicators of compromise here uh, from uh, Trend Micro, including some domain names and such that uh, you may want to just plug them into your DNS logs to see if you can find anything. But overall, also a good discussion of how this command control protocol works and how to possibly identify it. And for those of you still running GitLab on premise, it's patch time again. GitLab released an update fixing a critical vulnerability with a CVSS score of 9.6. The vulnerability does allow code execution as another user. So again, really more sort of one of those privilege escalation style of vulnerabilities. 
As far as I've seen, there is no exploit available yet, so you have a little bit of time to roll out patches. Well, that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and hope you like this podcast. If you do, please also like it in your favorite podcast app. If I missed any stories, well, uh, please let me know. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.